Aloha, my name is Jonathan, and we're going to do a walkthrough of Robert Moore's The Book of Shadows Tarot. As above, so below, complete edition includes two tarot decks. So this is a set that was originally sold separately. There's the as above, and then there's the so below, and each of those is a separate tarot deck. And this kit is put out by... Los Garbio. Magnetic clasp, but it does, I don't know, sometimes it slides easily. It comes with a great book. It's thicker than a normal, well, I guess it's no thicker than a normal book that you get with a box kit, but it's thicker than a uh, typical white, little white book because you have two decks and you know, they have uh, separate sections in the book. So you got the introduction, as above, so below, and then a bunch of spreads that you can use. Um, the introduction is basically just talking about why there's two decks. One is more like archetypal god types and the other one is more mundane everyday life. So, the as above. Kind of breaks it up a little differently than normal because they talk about it for a little bit and then kind of start going into the cards are not, gone, uh, are not in order in the book is what I'm trying to say. They get their own page for the most part, which is cool. Um, then, let's see, minors. Minors you tend to get written up like the courts, which they call, well, these are the elements. So you got the element Maiden, Mother, Crone. Again, Element, Maiden, Mother, Crone. And then they talk about how in the Miners, they're very much about the different god forms of... So like, Three of Fire is Venus, and the Four of Fire is Mars. Eight of Fire is Neptune. Neptune? So, this system is a little different, but it's very intriguing. You can always just use the So Below deck if you just want a regular Tarot deck. These are more like, here's the Air Suit. So Ace of Air is Dreams, Two of Air is Pendulum. Three of air is scrying. So in this case, you have different divinary forms for the whole suit, right? And then waters is... I mean, you can kind of see the typical tarot imagery, but it's definitely different. Water has... Looks like gods again. So, like, it looks like two are god forms and two are. So, ace, here we go. Earth, you got plant life, stones and crystals. So, it's like objects in two and god forms in two. Mountains, where is it? Okay, physical, literally physical areas of the world and places. And then we get the so below, which that's more of a typical, here's the fool, here's the magician, and that's more of a typical tarot deck. Each one has just like a little blur because it's like, they expect that you kind of know your tarot to get this. This is definitely not a beginner set. And then the minors. And then here we get, um, Reason the cards, which are 
different spreads that you can use with the cards. And then they talk a little bit about double decks, so using both decks for one reading. So just as an example, say you're doing the two choices spread. Maybe the first set you do with the so below because it deals with the mundane world. And then once you have those three down, you pull another three from the so above just to see what energies are um, basically pushing the choice. It's a very intriguing system, and I like that there's two decks in one set. So, <clears throat> and they have these little pull tabs here. Yeah. <clears throat> There's the so below. <clears throat> so, um, when the decks are not in the box, there is one little pet peeve I have with the box. This thing is very, like, it, it can come out. So, you gotta be careful when the decks are not in. Here we have the titles. Um, so we have Book of Shadows, Volume 1, as above. <clears throat> and then the Book of Shadows, Volume 2, which is so below. Here the zero card is the Fool. So like I said, this is going to be more of a regular tarot deck. This is more archetypes and energies. So here you have a fool, and here you have the Summerlands. Here you have the Magician, here you have the Elements. Here is the High Priestess, it's a gorgeous image. I don't know if you can see that she's touching a moon spirit of some kind, probably the goddess, the moon goddess. And then here we have wisdom. I love that the moon here is a yin yang. I don't know if you can see that very well. Here we have the empress. Nothing like a mom patching up a knee in the garden, right? And then here we have the goddess. And I love that they have these olive green here and blue over here to symbolize the different tarot decks. And it's the same on the backs here. Oh, and I like the cardstock. It is a little glossy, but it's okay. So here we have the emperor keeping things flowing, right? The manager, the mob manager. And here we have the god. So for the Hierophant, we have someone doing some shopping and it looks like a Chinese herbal shop. And then here, for the Hierophant, we have Book of Shadows. The lovers, I love this image because it's, you know, buying your first house together. And here is Beltane. Here we have Chariot, person driving everyone around. And here we have Transformation. It's a gorgeous image. Here we have strength. I love that it's an older woman still running in the wilderness. But that definitely takes strength, does it not? And here, eight is spell casting. It's a powerful image, is it not? Here we have the hermit, I love it. Candlelight, bath, 
books about knowledge. That looks like a hermitude I would love to join. Um, and then we have the path. Here we have the wheel, and you see the four seasons, and here you have wheel of the year. Now we have justice here, and here we have Mabon. I love that image. Here we have the hanged man. It's a woman doing yoga with candles all around. And here we have the circle. Here we have death. And here we have Yule. Temperance, Ostara, the devil, I love that it's a Sunday, like a mega Sunday, and here is Lamas. Here we have the tower. <clears throat> oh, I see. She's feeling the red rage of the destroying of the cup. And here, omens. Still that lightning bolt striking something tall image, though. Struck the tree and broke off a branch. Here we have the stars. I love that it's children having a blast. And here it's embolic. We have the moon and Samhain. I love all the ghosts and the death figure riding through the sky. Here we have the sun, I love that golden yellow. And then here is Litha. Here we have judgment. I love that it's someone praying in, in their outside garden to the goddess. And then here we have initiation, the goddess and the god. I love that this is so mirrored to each other and they're both the world. They're just amazing next to each other, and they're amazing by themselves as well. Now we get into the minors. Here, one of chalices, one of water. Two of chalices, two of water. Three of chalices, three of water. <laughs> that looks like a lot of fun right there. There is fours, again, chalices and water.
five. Seven. Eight. Nine. Well, the nine chalices is the central figure's birthday. That's very fitting. the three fates. Huh. Here we have the knave of chalices and the maiden of waters. I love this image. Here we have knight of chalices and elemental of water. You know what? Elemental comes before Maiden. Okay. So Maiden is Knight, I believe. And Elemental is Knave. I don't know why these some of these are messed up. Okay. Here we have Queen of Chalices and Mother of Water. Chalices, crone of water. Now we have one of pentacles and one of earth. So pentacles, earth. Two. I love how there's a little gnome helping her cook. <laughs> Is that the same gnome right here? Three of pentacles, three of earth. I love that this is an artist. I've got some house elves helping with the painting. Four of chal chal four of pentacles, four of earth. Both of them, the little dwarf elf guys, are very busy. Here they're helping to organize the cabinet. Here they're building an arch of some kind. Guess we got the gnomes. <laughs> Here we have five of pentacles and five of earth. They're trying to get her attention. No, 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 go that way, that way. <laughs> Six. Seven. There's that there's, there's a shark and merm, mermaid, dolphin and whale, or not whale. Oh, now I see the little gnome heads are in, that's the part of Earth, I get it. Like, why is there an underwater scene for Earth, but Earth is underwater too, isn't it? And they're helping her pick apples here. Here we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Earth. 
There really are gnomes in every single pentacle and earth card. I love it. Here we have nine of pentacles, nine of earth. Here we have tens, <laughs> gnomes all over the globe. Family party over here with the gnomes invited, of course. Can't forget your house gnomes now, can you? Here we got knave, an element. Knight and Maiden. We got an airplane. I haven't heard that noise in a while. Queen of Pentacles, Mother of Earth. Oops. King of Pentacles and Crone of Earth. I love this image. Snow, it is snow coming down on her. Want to come to the party? <laughs> okay, now we have the One of Wands and the One of Fire. I love this image here. It's just gorgeous with the salamander. Oh, and there's a salamander here, in the sun. Here we have two of wands, and two of fire, Hermes. Three of wands. <laughs> I love the little salamanders curled around the candles. She's enjoying a cuppa. And then three of fire, looks like Venus. Four of wands. It's, uh, they're getting ready for a Halloween bash, looks like. And then we have four of fire, Mars. Here we have five of wands. Oh, they're arguing. Ideas are flying, yeah. The typical five of ones. And then here five of fire, it's like Zeus or Jupiter, sorry, excuse me. Here we have six of wands and six of fire. Saturn. Seven of wands. And then seven of fire, looks like Neptune. Oh no, not Neptune. Pluto? Pluto. Because here's eight of fire, Neptune, and then eight of wands. Nine of wands and nine of fire. Ten of Wands, struggling to get in with a full bag of salamanders and her purse and everything from the day, using the light of her phone to find the keys. And then we got Ten of Fire here, celestial realm of some kind, the stars. So now we have Knave of Wands. An element of fire. Knight of Wands. Maiden of Fire. Queen of Wands. Mother of Fire.
King of Wands, Crone of Wands. One of Swords and one of Air. Two of Swords. Ah, <laughs> fairies are in her hands instead of swords. I love that. And two of air, pendulum. Three of swords. Oh, that is a heartbreaking moment, isn't it? And three of air. Four of swords. Four of air. I think that's supposed to be omens. Five of swords. Five of air. Palmistry. Six of swords. Six of air. Fleeing the pollution and gloom and running into daylight and the green. That's gorgeous. I love that. Ooh, these decks are good. Messy. Okay, so Seven of Swords, Seven of Air, the I Ching, Eight of Swords, And eight of air, it's like meditation. What's going on here? Uh, looks like they're overwhelmed by the knowledge. Here we have the nine of swords and the nine of air. A vulture. <laughs> Oh, I just saw the hangsman's noose there. That's creepy with the pile of bodies. Yikes. <laughs> and then we have ten of swords. This looks like a phoenix. <laughs> and then here we have ten of air. Tarot. And she's holding her own card. I don't know if you can see that. She's holding her own card. That's amazing. Here we go with the Knave of Swords and the Element of Air. I love the kite here. Here we have Knight of Swords and Maiden of Air. Queen of Swords and Queen of Air. Or Mother of Air, sorry. <laughs> That's a powerful image. Then we have King of Swords and Crone of Air. that usual join their tarot association. Okay, that is the Book of Shadows Tarot. Comes with two decks. And uh, what do you think? Would you want to use these two decks together for a reading? I think it'd be intriguing. I haven't used them quite yet, just because I feel like I want to get to know them a little better. But I am intrigued by these decks. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and aloha!